NARS has a rising star cheek palette. Should I get that? I'm gonna add that one. I'm gonna just go ahead and take her off <laughs> because <laughs> ma'am, with that money, I could do something else. And I want this for myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I want to open up my own candles because I burn candles every day. <laughs> Kay Ali burning, what? Burning cherry, what? That one, whatever. This is a great gift to give. Don't be like me. Give it away, you know? That'll be good. A good deed, okay? <laughs> How do you say it? Eat so long. Oh God. Uh -huh. It's time to shop, okay? I've got my iPad with me. We are gonna go over what is on my wish list for the Sephora sale. If you don't already know, I have all the information right here on the screen for you. It's coming up and I am a Rouge member. And I say this <laughs> with a little bit of sass because like, give me my 20%, you feel what I'm saying? Because I do spend a lot of money at Sephora. If you're not already a Beauty Inside a member, make sure you sign up because it's free. It's like getting CVS points or whatever else, Smoothie King points whenever you buy a smoothie, you know? If you sign up, you at least get 10%. So just sign up if you're not already, link is below. And I cannot wait to show you what I have on my wish list. If you're like me, you keep a wish list flowing all year round. Like I did not just wake up and put this list together. This has been an accumulation. It's been brewing, you know, as I finish items, as I come across new ones, I add to this list because I want to know when I go into Sephora, when I get a little bit of extra change, what I'm buying. I just, I don't like the guesswork. I need to know, you know? So I've got my iPad mini six and my handy dandy iPad pen. I call it a pencil in a video. I'm so annoyed. Is it a pen or a pencil? Oh, it's a pencil. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Okay, I got all of that. I'm gonna do a screen record, you feel what I'm saying? And we are going to go shopping together, or at least look at our wish list. Now, don't feel forced in any way to purchase anything. This is not by force, okay? We're just having fun discussing things. But if you are gonna buy anything, I wanna know below because my list is not yet sealed. It's not signed, sealed, and delivered quite yet. I can certainly add more to it. I'm open to adding more to it. In fact, let's take a look at the homepage for Sephora and see what's going on. Okay, so already I got 770 points. I don't be using my points. I used to feel like, and comment, let me know. I'm just the kind of person that accumulates points, like whether it's flyer miles, smoothie king points, whatever here, I just accumulate them. And I always feel here that if I use my points, I'll no longer be rouge. I know that that's not true, but I just always think that way. So I never use them. I should use them, I know, I get it. All right, we got a sample bag. Coke Chanel is on my list. We're gonna get there, but I'm just browsing the homepage because I might be, it, I might be tempted. You get what I'm saying? If you love Sephora, you get this. And if you're not already following on all socials, make sure you're doing that. House Labs, I already have that. The Prada one is on my list, honey. I do have the NARS Power Matte Lipsticks here in my possession, just have not used them yet. But just looking at the main page, NARS has a rising star cheek palette. Should I get that? I'm gonna add that one to the, look at these my fingers. I'm just so used to the fingers. Let's use the pencil girl. I just added the NARS Rising Star Cheek Palette to my wish list because that looks really cute. I've tried the Huda Beauty Glow Wish Blur Jam Silicone Free Smoothing Whatever Primer in a different video. Watch that one but I have that already. I cannot remember which commodity fragrance I like, but this is really interesting because I had a sample pack of them. From what I remember, you can choose the intensity of the fragrance, right? Is that what this is? Already, I like this one because it's a warm and sweet gourmand. That's up my alley. Warm and spicy fragrance family, warm and sweet gourmand scent type, and it's got amber, vanilla, and creamy musk. I don't remember which one I liked. I'ma hold off because I want to get the one I like, but let's Let's jump into the wish list, okay? I feel like a school teacher, I need my glasses. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Okay, so we have the Rising Star Cheek Palette from NARS that I just added. That's at the top. Then the other day, I added the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Liquid Foundation in the color 485. Because in the video, I was sharing that 490 is wicked dark. I like my foundation to be dark, but 490 is wicked dark. And we are getting into the winter and I need a shade that's not gonna be as dark. I do have 470 and I don't 
know that I like it that much. So I'm getting, I'm gonna get 485, that's a neutral deep color. I'm hoping that that's gonna match me better. And I just love the finish of that one. Very, very matte. In the winter time, still a good option on warm days because I live in Houston. So even today, for instance, it's October. It is 85, probably gonna be 90 today. You feel what I'm saying? So I still like to dabble in the matte foundations, although I do have on deck and ready to go my more hydrating natural foundations because on days where it's 60 or something like that, I don't want my face to feel dry. So watch my video on my current foundation favorites to see the different ones that I'm loving and then I'll explain to you in the video how they all wear. All right, next on my list is this Veluspa 12 day advent calendar. This one is on here in addition to the Forever Mood one. They both have 12 different candles. So of course with the advent calendar, it's a cool gift to give someone because then the 12 days of Christmas each day, they open up the little box and then you get a different prize. So you'll find some from many different brands in the drugstores or at a, at a store like Sephora. Some of them will have different things in them like skincare and makeup and whatever. This one is just candles and I want this for myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I want to open up my own candles because I burn candles every day, <laughs> you know, and I just want to smell them. The Voluspa candles are phenomenal. The scent throw is amazing, meaning they fill the room. The glass is always so beautiful. It looks like a, like cathedral style, you know, it just looks like a decoration. The glasses are just beautiful. So I want this for me, but it might make the list for a gift too but this is definitely on my list. Let me know if you have taken a look at that. The Forever Mood ones are here. The colors are beautiful. I know that there are scents in here that I have never heard of, so some new ones here. I'll be understanding these Sephora reviews. It's got two reviews and it's got a one out of five. I don't understand that because what are they trying to say? Now, am I biased? Perhaps right? I've been purchasing Forever Mood candles for a long time. I have a product empties video coming up. There was a line that wasn't as strong for me, but everything else I've loved. So I don't know what that means. I still want to get this for myself. I see a complaint here that the candles come out to be six bucks a piece and that that's too much. I like the candles. They throw really well. They smell really good. So that's on my list as well. The two of them are $75. Now Ellis Brooklyn has been a favorite of mine and Vanilla Milk is on my list of favorite fragrances for the fall. If you've not seen that video, make sure you watch it. Vanilla milk is amazing. It smells like dessert. You might be annoyed that it smells very much like vanilla extract, but that does not annoy me. In fact, it makes me so happy. And he even loves it. He's like, I smell like cookies. I love it. And it lasts. It lasts on the clothes for a very long time. I mean, hours, six, 10 hours, maybe even longer. I mean, I'm just always trying on different fragrances, but it is so, so good. The one that I was sent is I believe a 1.7 fluid ounce, it's almost done. That's how much we love it. So I have it on my list to restock because it is that good. And see, it has three out of five stars, but people must not like that whole vanilla extract scent of it all. And then also on my list is the Burberry Her Elixir Eau de Parfum Intense. Girl, I have the both of them. I have the intense. I do only have the, I believe, one fluid ounce. And that's not enough for me. I need a bigger version. Uh, I believe what I have is one ounce or is it 1.6? Either way, I need the 3.4 because it is so stinking good. It is stronger than the regular one. They both are phenomenal. If you had to choose, I would definitely recommend the intense. It is so sweet. It is very, very sweet. I love it. I'm thinking of Prada Candy, but I didn't love that one too much. That's an old fragrance, girl. I love love the Burberry Her Elixir. Listen, to me, it would be a safe blind buy. It'd be a safe purchase for a gift for a young woman, for a mature woman like me who just loves to smell sweet, you know? It makes me so happy. I'm getting another one because it is that good. It is that good. Ellis Brooklyn has a salt soothing scented body oil. I didn't even know they had this new one. Tanya Marie posted it on IG and I was like, excuse me, need this. Because if you know from either the last sale in the spring or the one last fall, you know that I love salt from Ellis Brooklyn. That one is also sweet, delicious. It's a fresh solar scent. It is delicious. It is strong. It is just amazing. I love it. So since they have a body oil, come on, son. I need to have that as well, right? I need the flexibility. I just need all the good things. So that's also on my list. Now I have Tom Ford Lost Cherry on my list, but hold on a second. So I've been in my research finding that people are comparing Tom Ford Lost Cherry to K. Ali Burning. What? Burning Cherry? What? 
that one, whatever, the new one, right? Which I do love. And that's a fraction of the cost. You see how Lost Cherry is $3.90? I'ma just go ahead and take her off <laughs> because <laughs> Ma'am, with that money, I could do something else. Just a little bit confuzzled and unable to do it. Unable to do that right now, okay? Shiseido Clear Sunscreen Stick SPF 50 has been a fave of mine. If you're not new, then you already know this. And if you're new, here you go, okay? Again, links are all gonna be down below. Love this sunscreen. I actually have it on today. I love that it's just easy to apply. It's SPF 50, so more protection. And secondly, it's easy to apply. It's a stick, it's like a deodorant. You're just putting it all over your face, it's clear. It does does give you a natural dew, if you will. It's not gonna make you matte, so it is going to give you a little bit of a dew. It's not gonna make you look oily either. So it's in between, okay? I love it. I love the ease of it all. So that's definitely on my list. Always wanna have that restock. Now, I cannot believe that this Sal Gennaro Mist Master Mix perfume set is sold out. Like, I just put you in this in the cart, like, what, two weeks ago? How is it sold out? I'm so annoyed. I wanted to get that. Look, listen, I want all these things for myself. But I'm open, you know, I'm open to possibly gifting them. You know, it just, it just really depends. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, this would have been a great gift, but it's no longer available. I'm going to leave the no longer available stuff in my cart because if it comes back, baby, we in there like swimwear. This Laneige Midnight Minis Lip Sleeping Mask set is so funny and so cute. I got one like this last year. In fact, I still have them. There's a red one that was peppermint. It was a holiday one. It was the cutest. I have a new Nini's backpack. He loves mint, so he, he puts that one on because I do not do dry lips. We don't do dry lips. I don't like it at all, ever. So again, I wanna get this set for myself, but like, again, they're still great. They're great gifts, okay? So if you are shopping for gifts for someone else, this is a great gift to give. Don't be like me. Give it away, you know? That'll be good. A good deed, okay? Sal Gennaro Bum Bum Beats Body Care Set. Love this because it comes with the, that's a shampoo, the body scrub, the body moisturizer, and the body spray. All the same scent, $97 value for 68. Just a no brainer, you feel what I'm saying? I had this last year, still love it. Love that they have it back, unless it was called something different. I remember having this one last year. The scent is just tried and true. It's fantastic for travel. It's fantastic for just being at home. It's just fantastic in life in general. The scent is just, it's addicting. It is so good. I have never gotten this Touchland Power Mist Hydrating Hand Sanitizer, but I've seen it because of the shape of it being so flat, it easily goes into purses. And normally I use the Bath and Body ones, but I'm open to something new and I'm gonna get a discount, so why not? So I have that one in here. I I had the individual ones in here and then I found that there was a set. You save five dollars, you know. So I want to get the set. If you've used these, comment and let me know. Granted, the hydration of it all is really important because who wants to have dry hands after you've used alcohol? The Enki List Back to Basics Hydration Heroes Skincare Set. I put this in here as a gift because this comes with the oat cleansing balm, which is great if you have dry skin. It's also a cleansing balm. So it feels almost like a Vaseline. Then when it's rubbed in, it feels like a Vaseline too. Once you put water onto it, it emulsifies. So it looks like milk and then it breaks down your makeup. Then you wanna make sure you wash your face with a cleanser. I always have to say that cause I'm like, don't just use that and then think you're all set. You're gonna feel like there's a film on your face. Wash your face after using something like this, but great if you have dry skin. Then it comes with a hyaluronic acid, which I have gone through through so many of, I love this. It's very affordable on its own and even in this set. Great for hydration for the face, whether you have dry or even if you have oily skin, you do need to hydrate. So this could still be helpful for you. And it comes in this pack. And then the caffeine eye cream. Caffeine is known to at least make the eye area feel like it's awakened in the morning. And I like to use an eye cream. It's good to obviously fight signs of aging, hydrate the skin, visibly pump the skin, so on and so forth. So a great set either for yourself or to give to someone else, at least like a, I mean, it's a hero set, right? And it's a good basics, right? Back to basics. It's a good basic skincare set to give to someone that doesn't know what the heck they're doing. You feel what I'm saying? And that could be you, you know? And that's okay. Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. Whoa, this was always a problem for me. Love this scent. I have it here. This one I have on here as a gift set. Love that it comes with the regular size and then the purse size one. It's a great floral fragrance, okay? And it's a fruity floral. It has keynotes of pear, white gardenia, and brown sugar sweet, delicious, great as well. Burby Her Elixir is definitely much sweeter than this, but they're both really, really good. Great as gifts. And they're pretty and girly and beautiful too, right? Then we've got the Maison Margiela Replica Beach Walk Perfume Set. I like this set because you get the per 
course version and then you know what I'm saying so this is a good set of course you save a little bit of money when you get the sets great as a gift or for yourself you feel what I'm saying then we have the clean reserve perfume discovery set there are several of these that I do like I do have them here in my closet and I thought that this would be a great gift to give to someone too it might even fit in a stocking it definitely to allow people to smell all of the scents and then see which one they like I like these discovery sets because usually the blind buys are too risky and they're gonna cost you more then you gotta return it or go to the store put on a label blah 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 if you get a, a library set or a discovery set like this you can spray them all see how you feel see how long it wears it's a definitely a good option I have the Joe Malone mini candle set in my wish list and annoyed here we go not in stock okay so I'm seeing the option to notify me but I didn't see that on the other one so that tells me <laughs> that perhaps the other one is not going to come back and that clearly these will the Joe Malone candle collection the flower bomb travel duo again a great gift travel sets flower bomb is what was it on TikTok did they say the flower, what did they say it was for was it for the hot girls I don't know flower bomb is a good option too I have it I just have not worn it in a minute but definitely a great gift option there Marc Jacobs yes mini Eau de Parfum set love this definitely a great option see how it's out of stock so is it never gonna come back dear god Burberry mini Eau de Parfum <laughs> I can't do it. Well, I'm gonna leave them here and see if the status changes because I want them. I've got in here also the Forever Mood mini candle set because again, I love the candles and this is always a great gift. It's always great for myself too. It's a great gift as well. I've got the brown quad set as a gift. In fact, for a friend coming up, I like to just have this around because if there's a party or something, I already have a gift on deck. You feel what I'm saying? So I wanna grab that. Love the 54 Thrones body butters. You already know this. I have one in every bag. I have it with me in the car. I have it with me at all times. It, it does get hard. It's raw shea butter. So warm it up in your hand by squeezing it with the cap on before you actually open the cap and then pour some, well, you know, pour, you squeeze some. A little goes a long way, a little. I love raw shea butter, so, so good. Definitely have to get that. I've got the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt and Peony and Blush Suede Mini Fragrances. So they call them colognes here. Love the two of these. More so love the Peony and Blush Suede one. Very girly, very beautiful. A great gift option as well. And girl, the thing is I'm getting 20 20% off on all of that stuff. I gotta go easy. Hold on, my wish list is mad long. Hang on a second, it's too much. We got the Dermalogica Power Cleanse Duo. This is really great as well because you're going to get the Daily Microfoliant, which you can use every day if your skin tolerates. Start off once, twice a week to see how your skin responds to it, but de oh my gosh, immediately after using, the skin feels like polished, like you've buffed it with that machine that polishes the floors in Walmart. It literally feels like that. And then you got the Pre Cleanse, which is great to use before you cleanse, right? On your dry hands, on your dry face or your face with makeup and or sunscreen, rub it in. It'll feel like you're putting oil on your face. Get some water, it'll emulsify, meaning it looks like milk and then you actually use your cleanser. So if you were to get this, it would be the pre-cleanse, your cleanser, and then you would use the daily microfoliant. Afterward, I used to feel like the exfoliating needed to happen first. No, it's gonna be afterward. Oh, your skin's gonna feel so, so good, okay? We got another Victor and Roth flower bomb mini perfume trio set great as a gift you know outside of the other one that we just went over the inky list set this one is good too because this one is for acne so we the other one was for dry skin because it had the old cleansing balm this one's for acne so if you have someone that doesn't know again what in tarnation they doing teenager and adult that has acne it happens i got acne right the salicylic acid i'm turning this back the salicylic acid cleanser is great that's going to attack the bacteria that causes acne on the skin okay then we've got the niacinamide serum which is great for dark spots and oily skin and then we have the susanic because mm, it ain't sucking it Ooh, i can't do it so ghetto this acne treatment praise god that is a spot treatment clearly this is perfect for anyone that is having issues with acne honey go ahead and tackle that okay don't suffer in silence the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic acid moisturizer oh these names I've gone through so many of these. I love it. It feels airy, whipped in texture almost. I love it so much. Definitely want to re-up on that. Pattern Beauty Detangling Nectar. Recently did a video with them on IG. Love that thing, honey. So I do what I want to do when it comes to my hair, praise God. And one of those things has been not 
detangling. And when I used this, I thought, wow, yeah, I've been making this more difficult than it needs to be. This is a fantastic product. I'm going to buy one because the one I have, I mean, I was using it that time for the video. So it's like almost done. And if you know me, I like to stock up. Like I stock up on everything. Literally, you know, toilet troll, paper towel, toothpaste. I just need it to be ready so that when I'm ready, it's also ready, you know? So this is gonna be one of those items that's just gonna be ready for me. Nest New York South Pacific Sandalwood Perfume Oil. This is good, okay? It's gonna give you a light shine. It's gonna give you heavy fragrance. Put it on top of your body after you've moisturized. It smells so stinking good, okay? They sent four of these perfume oils to me quite some time ago. I have one I'm looking at right now that's left over. This particular one though, I gave this away because <laughs> it's that good, okay? So I'm gonna restock, okay? Prada Paradox Eau de Parfum. I'm hearing mixed reviews. I'm hearing that if you've got Burberry hair, you don't need this. I'm hearing that it's great, but it's, it's also been done before. But I can't lie, I like the bottle, you know? So I want it, perhaps not the three ounce. Then I hate getting small bottles and stuff. Like, I'm gonna do this, let's just go all the way. You feel what I'm saying? So I have this here, but I don't know. You know, I don't really follow the trends. I do me, you feel me? <laughs> so I might really love this, you know? Let me know in the comments below if you, if you smell this, how you feel about it, I wanna know, okay? Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. I was actually in store and couldn't find this. So maybe this is not sold in all stores. I know that in certain markets, not everything is sold. It depends on what's going to sell, right? Brands don't wanna have stuff on shelves that are not gonna move, move me meaning not going to sell. You want things to sell, so I get it. It just, it wasn't at the store when I was there. So definitely want to try that. Rose Ink Hydrating Cream Highlighter in Prismatic. I've been using that, been loving it. So I want to get another one or two because I have the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter in my suitcase and here in my studio makeup kit, but I've been loving how easy this is to apply. I have it on right now. I love how easy it is to apply. I'm not putting it back in my hand and blotting and then wiping my hand. I'm just putting the sponge into the container and putting it on and then I I can build it up. It's very subtle. I love it. So I want to get two, I need to get two more of those actually. One size Patrick Star Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I want to try that out. Sephora Mattifying Blot Powders, 20% off of $4, why not? Pat McGrath Lab Sublime Perfection Foundation, never tried it. Want to try that if you have, let me know what you think about it. I want to know. I always use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Sheet in the shade, what? Warm, so brown, mm -mm, that's not what I use. Bless God, goodbye, mm -mm, that's not, no, I use natural black. One size Patrick Star, turn up the base, blurring foundation. I wanna try deep three. It's very deep with neutral undertones. I was looking for this in store and what was it? Did they not have it or did I not like the shade options? I don't know what happened, but I wanna try this. If you try this, let me know how you feel about it. Kayali Deja Vu, white flower hair mist. When I realized, cause I have this in the fragrance, when I realized that there was a hair mist, first of all, are you spraying your hair? I wanna know because I do. And then, you know, wash it out. <laughs> wash it out when you wash your hair, praise God. But with regular perfume for the body, it's got oil in it and it can be drying to your hair. I wear wigs, so like whatever, but just FYI when it comes to that. So when you have these hair mists, apparently they're not supposed to be so harsh on the hair. So I wanna try this out because that scent is amazing. Miss Dior hair mist, why not? Dolce & Gabbana, the only one Eau de Parfum. I was watching the video and the lady sold this to me. So I wanna get it. Sal Janeiro, Brazilian Crush, Beja Flor, Beja, Beja Flor. Just amazing. The scent is phenomenal, okay? So definitely. Definitely want to get that body spray. Topicals Slather Exfoliating Body Serum with Retinol and AHA. Great to use in the evening. Make sure you're wearing a SPF in the morning or do this in the winter where you're more you're more bundled up. It's going to exfoliate the skin. It's going to make, on me, my skin feel dry in the morning. But I know that when I do this, I'm not doing it often. So once a week, once every two weeks, week and a half, but definitely leads to smoother, more even skin. I have this and I like it. And that's why I put it in my cart because I was like, if I, if I like something that I'm using, I put it in my cart because I wanna get it again. And this is definitely one of those things. Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Moisturizing Body Lotion. I don't know what accent that was, but we went with it, you know? I haven't tried this scent, but I hear it's amazing. So I wanna try the body lotion, okay? Sephora Cream Lip Stain. In fact, I'm wearing number 75 in the middle of my lip today. So I wanna get 76, that's a matte brown pink. And then Pretty Auburn is normally what I wear on the outside. It looks just like this, a brown. Great for brown skin. Today's out 
outside lip is Rare Beauty Kind Words Liner in the color Strong, but they look the same, both very good. And on sale, why not? Oh, and during the sale, the Sephora Collection products are 30% off for everybody, okay? So Sephora Collection has a great translucent powder. They've got some good options, okay? I'm gonna link it below. And then Yves Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent, <laughs> how do you say it? Yves Saint Laurent. Oh God. Uh -huh. Okay, Black Opium Dry Oil for Body and Hair. Again, you know, put the oil in the hair. Oh, out of stock! Oh dear God! Well, we ain't gonna be doing that. <laughs> Lancome La Vie et Belle Body Lotion. Boom, boom. I do have the fragrance. I have the Soleil Cristal and the regular. So here we have a body fragrance, why not? I have smelled Miss Dior absolutely blooming and it is phenomenal. This one I am absolutely getting, hands down, period. The bottle's beautiful, the scent is even better. It's fantastic. I love Jo Malone Peony Blush Suede. And I love the Jo Malone Diffusers. I have two of them and they're both Velvet Rose and Oud. Phenomenal scents and I love this one. It's soft. After. The Velvet Rose and Oud is very strong. I love the both of them. Do you want to get this? And I've got Victor and Roth Bonbon fragrance in my list. I put this in my list in June. I don't know what I was thinking. Was it a video I was watching? I don't remember anything about it. So I don't know about that one, but it's here, okay? Denisa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I had the translucent one, tried it in a video, didn't care about it at all. I wonder what the colored one gonna be like. So I wanna try that out. LYS Beauty Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. I have one, it's an orange one. I like it a lot. You gotta go easy. It is highly pigmented. It is really, really good. So I do wanna get a pinky type one. Lawless Conceal the Deal Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. You know I love using mink on my face and then clove on the brow, so good. I'm finished with mink, so that's here. I may wanna get this Jo Malone London Peony and Blush Suede, oh God, the names, the candle because the scent is so amazing. So we're gonna see and then I have the fragrance here again because mine is almost done literally I was spraying it all the time for a period of time so the one I have is almost done hand lotion come on son you feel what I'm saying <laughs> my hi hello gift but also great for me replica coffee break I smelled it in store and I cannot recall if I liked it or loved it I put it here so I must I must have liked it but I can't recall what it smelled like you know so I need to smell this one again and here's the thing, with the sale being for what, one week or 10 days, I buy several times. Like I'll get I'll get something and I'm like, okay, now I wanna get this, ooh, and I hate that, ooh. You know, you can buy in store or online. I just like go by high sale, you know? So, you know, I might end up getting it. Bubble bath, mine is almost done. I'm looking at it right now, it's almost done. Gotta restock, amazing. Ellis Brooklyn B, that one's almost done. Amazing. First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads, you already know. I've discussed this so, so many times. I have enough, but again, it's so good that on sale, stock up, okay? Coco Mademoiselle, again, that's here. I smelled that a long time ago. I remember it being good. I just want to get it. <laughs> Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Peptide Lip Treatment Booster. This is really good for the lips. Love this. Definitely want to get that. Replica Lazy Sunday Morning. I did enjoy this in the store. Want to get that. Candles, you cannot go wrong. Yves Saint Laurent, this is the La Lome Le Parfum. Girl, I'm doing the best I can, praise God, okay? This one I must have seen in a video because it's been a while, number one, and I don't recall anything about it, but I want to smell it again and see, this if, see if this is a good option to purchase. The Brow Cheat Filler, Natural Black, this is the one right here. Candles, of course. So, Kali Invite Only Amber, I haven't smell this. I know that I saw it in a video and that's why I put it here. I need to smell this first, okay? Cuffing Season Candle is fin phenomenal. Nest New York Wild Mint and Eucalyptus Candle. I've had this. It is fantastic. Burberry Blush. This has been here for over a year, honey. Almost two years. I don't know why I never got this. Is this good? Can you come and let me know? The bottle is so cute. Is it good? Tell me. I haven't smelled it. Kevin Con Euphoria. Oh my God. I put this in here because it's so nostalgic. This reminds me of back in the day. I I used to love this. I want to get it. I just want to get it. <laughs> That list is a lot longer than I expected. I did not know that my list was that long. Like, I knew I had a wish list, but honey, I didn't know it was like that, like that. I'm gonna go through and pick up the heavy hitters, the ones I really, really want, because come on, again, the list is a is a is an evolving list. It doesn't mean that I wanna get everything this time around, you feel me? Because the sale, to be honest, happens twice a year, okay? But I hope that you enjoyed at least talking through my thought process on these products. Comment and let me know if you're gonna get any of them or what you plan on getting because you might give me an idea that I haven't thought about. And I'm gonna leave two videos for you to choose from to watch another video of mine because why not? I'll be on all socials and I will see you in the next video. Bye.